So <laughs> tell everyone here a little bit about how your companies right now are making money and what your monetization model is. Um, so, I mean, we're in the branded sales business um, purely. We started out, you know, four years ago with, you know, no salespeople and no revenue. Um, and, you know, we've grown more or less 100%, um, you know, every, you know, first every six months and then every year since then. Uh, now we have a sales staff and support of about 35 people. Demand monetizes its, uh, its network and content really in three different ways. Uh, one is branded ads uh, and sales in the same way that uh, Keith's team does as well as we have large partnerships with people like Yahoo, um, Google, who provide... And just real quick, everyone here may not know some of the individual brands that Demand has. So can some of the well-known brands that they probably would recognize are sites like sure. eHow and yeah, that's Live Strong. Right. eHow is a site that's focused on the how-to category that reaches about 38 million people each month. Uh, Crack.com is a humor site that we own. Livestrong.com is a health and fitness site that we just launched just about a year ago in partnership with uh, the Lance Armstrong Foundation. We own GolfLink, which is the number one golf site on the web, as well as Trails.com, uh, which is focused on the active outdoor lifestyle. So uh, Trails actually is a subscription service that allows you to um, get access to rich content from niche publishers that create guidebooks around trails. Uh, so if you're interested in getting outdoors and learning about that, we have a really rich subscri subscription offering you know, over 65,000 people subscribe to that service. Um, so our, our mix of uh, monetization is, spans from subscription, like I just described, as well as branded display advertising and video, as well as the partnerships with uh, some of the big media companies out there. Rocky's uh, three years old. Uh, I joined as a fifth employee. And when I joined, uh, we were doing nothing more than slideshows for MySpace. Um, and widgets, which is what I'd reference slideshows right now, which is these little flash applications you put on your profiles and social networks. There was no money behind that, right? No one was paying for them. No one was paying to advertise on them. Um, there was essentially no revenue opportunity there. When we uh, worked with Facebook uh, on their platform and started building these social applications, uh, that's where we saw a real opportunity. And um, we built apps like Rock You Live and Pieces of Flare, Hug Me, Speed Racing, all the Monsters apps. There's a lot of apps that can be annoying to some. Um, so you've got all the vampire apps and... Those apps as well, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> also some really engaging apps, right? A lot of games. We, we built some games like Super Pets and Hero World, Crime World. Um, what else? I mean, there's like a whole series of these applications. And How many different apps have you built? Uh, probably like 40, of which 14 have reached over a million users a month, oh. um, of which maybe seven or over five million users a month. Um, so we built this sort of collection of applications, similar, I think, to what Demand's done with uh, very different verticals. And our focus is around social experiences, right? Trying to make people uh, share content. So with Pieces of Flare, it's sharing photo content. With Rocky Live, it's sharing video content. Hug Me, it's poking, right? Different types of pokes. And what I find funny is that over the course of the last three years, I've heard countless times that no money's being made in this space, right? Social media, no money's being made. Facebook's not making any money, even though they make half a billion a year. Um, and and with, is amazing is that's completely wrong, right? There's a lot of money being made in social media. The question is how you do it. Our world's kind of a split of, a split of two things. It's branded uh, media sales, like we've talked about quite a bit already, yeah. and paid content. Um, now, it's kind of like Ro was describing in that it's, it's I, we don't use the term virtual currency, but in effect, it's similar. The model's uh, subscription-based, but in effect, our consumer's buying a similar product. They're buying premium access to I wouldn't use the word enhancements either, but stuff that features, capabilities, uh, items. So take a world like Club Penguin. Huge number of kids playing Club Pe Penguin at no cost. And then there's a premium membership group that kind of gets to go beyond the velvet rope. And beyond the velvet rope gives them a bunch of things, yeah. access and so forth. So there are some virtual worlds on Disney.com and... To participate, them you can pay a fee and you get right. more access. Right. On those virtual so we've got we. What's what's interesting for us, and it's just unique, I think, certainly amongst this group. I mean, I've got I've got kind of two audiences living in this ecosystem. We have kids, and we have their parents. So you've got lots of dynamics there, and the branded media side. There's lots of rules and com and complexity around media sales in a kids environment, or you've got the just the nuance in in my in my world around gaming. Our player is not our payer. So you've got, you've got players who are your pair. That's right. We've got players whose parents are the pair. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of nuance in terms of how do you get a, a kid to influence a parent 
and do it responsibly. We don't want, you know, it's not our goal to get the kids to, to drive their parents completely crazy. So how do you get a kid to influence a parent? How do you conform to a variety of, of regulations and, and self-imposed things that we believe are important as a brand um, and, make, and turn into a business? So, so for example, um, item sales that are really popular in the social media space, they're tougher for us to do with a kid. It's, just, it's simply more practical, particularly in the US, to charge a monthly fee and get, and get a kid to, uh, to pay or the parents to pay that way. 